policy cannot be there. So client secret is also generated by the application. Uh, any <laughs> how do I put it? Can we see the policies where they are defined and see if any global policy is defined which is required? Mm -hmm. Which global policy? Where is global policy? Any policies? Is it? Okay. Did you guys walk through this thing so far? Claims. Access policies, yeah. What is this access policy? Oh, we don't have any policy. Oh, did you guys didn't notice? Yeah, right. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's go to default server. Default server, yeah. And then see, is there any policy there? Should be. Go to access policy. Mm. Oh, how can we skip that? Nobody noticed. There is access policy also. Yeah. Default policy, default tool. What is this all about? Yeah, this is who is authorized to make calls correct. to this operation server correct. to have correct. 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 This is the thing which is missing here. So what we'll do, we we'll make a policy here and this policy again. This is something is the main gist of this operation server. Yeah, that's why we call it as custom operation server. We could have done same thing here also. We can create another policy in default also, but up to you if you want to customize this authorization server to create a new access policy for each set of applications, single application, multiple application. There is no restriction on how many access policy or rule you want to create. So you can also do it in the default operation server also. You can go into the custom authorization server also, up to you. So there is no compelling factor. There is somebody you were asking, I think, Shekhar or anyone else. So you can either do hit here or you can come here. But there is always a default policy here which you can even modify that also, which applies to all clients, following clients. I'll tell you yeah, what right. these clients are. And then there is a separate rule also where we specify what are the uh, grant types supported by that particular uh, authorization server. Authorization okay. code one, this one. If I remove this one, it would not be supported. Let's, we'll try that. This is the place where we can come and see validity of access token. This is the place where we'll see the validity of refresh token, minutes, days, unlimited, always will expire after yeah, basically is, in here we are configuration configuring this uh, authorization server correct correct so we'll add a policy we'll make it suppose if i want to make it for only for api api apps only for api apps well only for api service client anything you want to click api service clients all all clients or suppose i want to do it API, my API app, right? So only this app. So I created a policy only for this client. So I can do segregation. Let's try right. doing that. I did that. Oh, it's still failing because I have added the policy but not the rule. Rule. What I'll do? So this rule is also required because without rule, will not come to know which grant type is supported. We'll make a API, API rule or API, uh, API client server rule, whatever. And then we'll select, suppose let me remove all of them. Mm -hmm. Let's try now. Any scope, let me keep it all default. I'm removing all the clients. So you must select at least one grant type. So I'm type. selecting authorization code. Let me select that first. Yeah. Let me create a rule and then make a request. Let's see if it works. No. It will not work because we have to select Client credentials here. Then save it. And then make a call. Should it should work? Good. We are good. All set. Let's copy this. Take it to jot.io. Dot We're getting score. Yeah. Got it. So this is coming from customized authorization server with this particular authorization server ID and with the my scope thing. Subject is something we already know. This is for client ID now in this our case. We can compare it. Let's go to this application. Where is that application? Not this one. 
because there is no direct user involved. Correct. Can you see? Subject in this case is client ID, client client ID itself. Right? So we got it for so this particular access token is only can be only redeemed by this particular application for yeah. this particular scope. This is the boundary we put it on access scope. It's not like that any other application can access this access token. No, this is only eligible for this. This is how we can provide the uh, fine grain authorization. Okay, so somebody was saying if same token can be used. No, every token is independent for each type of application and each user, depending upon what is the scope of that and what is the what it is it is entitled for. It is only entitled for this particular application. This is the thing. Got it? Yeah. <clears throat> One question here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, like initially, we had all the scopes defined for the HTTP application, right? Like email, mm -hmm. user profile, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we were able to fetch uh, what scope we want depending mm -hmm. on what we provide. Mm -hmm. In here now, it is by default only one scope that is my uh, authorization. No, 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 no. You are you are again confused. We can still okay. use them. Let me go back to get ID token with code now. Okay. okay. Let's try with a grant type of same OIDC debugger, and let's try with this particular uh, authorization code. We will still be able to use this one. Let me show you. Okay. Let me go back. Grant mission server, and this is the one, right? So, we mm -hmm. will use this one. Authorization. Some custom one. Client ID is going to be same web the application. application. Yeah. Web application. Right. This is the web okay. application which we were using, right? Right. But okay. correctly, it will fail because we have put it for only this application for the server. All right, this will fail. That's good. Good thing. Okay, so now we'll use code actually. Let's see if it works or not. Okay. We're getting the credential. Let's see if it comes. Mm -hmm. Policy validation fail. Yeah, fail, correct. Why? Because, because it is just for this server. API. All right, this for API. Second thing, if Client like code. Web, web app, suppose. Uh, I'm selecting web app. OIDC. Web app. Second thing, what I selected here is client credential. Let me try Correct. only only this thing. Now, now again try. Let's try it. Yeah, still it will fail. Still it will fail because we selected this client point. credentials only. So we have to select operation code also. Earlier we are not able to save it right without selecting the authorization code or any of the grants. Now how come we miss it? Which one? I mean, earlier uh, without any selecting any grant, it did not let us do it, right? Move forward. No, I didn't. Grant type. Anything. Grant type. Uh, one of the grant types was mandatory. Yeah. So still, we, uh, we have to have one grant type as. Yeah, grant types are selected. No, one one was selected. So now we selected two actually. I didn't get your question. Uh, okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, the uh, default one can be any one of them. I was uh, yeah, with the default, like, correct, client correct. credential is not a default one. No, 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 no. Anyone can be the default. There is no bias for that. Now let's try it. This one. We get it right. Authorization code. Let's try with this postman ID. I'll have to change custom authorization server in this case. So let me uh, select. This particular authorization ID, my application. This is that ID with token, the one which we were using earlier. Let me use this and I'll use access token. I'll just use the code here, new code here. Choose the code. This was the code. We got it right, and this is coming from customer authorization server. New customer authorization server. Correct. Yeah, so it will also work. Let's try to copy it. So this is all sequential. You know, these things have to be segregated. If somebody miss one part of this exercise, it's going to be more complex after each exercise. If you see, I'm getting 
subject as a username, not as a at client ID. Got it? CLD also is coming, yep. UID is also coming from the same customer relation server. But in case of client credential, we were getting client ID. This is the difference. Yeah. Audience is my EZ server. There is no uh, uh, what we were getting from this particular thing. Token group membership. No, not group membership. I okay. Okay. This was coming here. Scope. And let me show you the difference between these two access token types. Make a copy of that. Scope was my easy scope, subject was this one, right? Audience was same because this is coming from customer creation server. But in case of it, right. audience will remain same, but UID is coming, CID is coming, scopes are changed totally. Both scopes are working now. You, this is was your question, right? Yeah. The scopes will remain valid, but only for client credential, we cannot use this one. For client credential, we have to have use, is it? Yeah. And that is the reason I combined it because this was the same thing which came my developer exam. So I had to create one custom scope and then only I can use client credential. These HTTP based, you know, scopes are not supported for client credential. Yeah. Got it. So, so this is something we need to understand the difference between client credential and authorization server endpoint and which one we can use here. Remaining, if you want to customize this again, let's go to same repeat of same thing. If I want to suppose uh, make a customization in this claim. So before that, let's talk about this policy also. So this is the place where I can come and I can control if this custom authorization server, I can support for client credential authorization code or which kind of a user with scope. I can give, give the scope also. Suppose if I select those application, but I select only my AZ scope, right? Now let's try to do what happens and then I want to change the time. So time is something, you know, which is we can control excess time. We can we typically should have it in minutes or something, but all depend upon uh, business requirement and security team sign off. We should not have the excess time long and refresh token up to us if we want to keep it for certain days or minutes or so or unlimited. And if it is not used for certain days or minutes, it will be expired. So let's try to use the my easy scope only for both of them. Let's see if authorization code works here or not because we restrict the scope thing. We can restrict the scopes also. Let's use that. Oh, okay, I have to change it. Access token suppose was one hour, so let me keep that. Now let's try to repeat the same exercise. For what? Authorization server grant flow. Let's see if that works or not. Let me start over. And in some state code, Policy evaluation failed. Why? Because here I have used only my AZ scope. If I giving suppose only profile. Profile. Yeah. Let's see if it will, will it work now. Anyone? Yes. It will just fetch the sub uh, subject or uh, profile related attributes. Hmm. Okay. Now every, I want everyone to respond to that. Is profile sufficient to fetch that? Can, can the authorization grant to flow can work only based on profile attribute? What yes, yes, it yes. can. It can, but then at that point in time, you will not be able to get client ID or access to session for client ID. Are you sure? Yeah, because uh, 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 client ID is a different scope, which is not a standard, and hence we have customized it. So this will be like using a default with profile. Okay, but I think it is not going to work. Any reason? Mm, okay. If it is not going to work, because we have created this new authorization server, and then we are saying that it will just uh, give back the profile data. I think it should work. I cannot think any, of any day. Anyone else want to comment on that? I know you guys are sleeping. No problem. But still, if somebody wakes up, please can somebody try to answer this. This is very basic thing I told on the day one regarding the scopes. And I told you this ID example can be mandated or something. Good. And Surya? 
to ensure somebody is wake, waked up. Anyone else? 